The CBS 46 Bulldog pressing the Fulton County school system for answers after nearly 30 kids are sick and many of them taken to area hospitals after consuming tainted Valentine's Day candy and treats at Sandtown Middle School. It's been a story we've covered from the very beginning and we now know some of those treats contain marijuana. The chief investigator Jonathan Carlson live tonight outside school headquarters with more Jonathan. Guys, good evening to you. The Bulldog came here expecting answers. After all, parents deserve them. But all we got was PR bluster. Fulton County school officials held a press conference in an attempt to look transparent without actually releasing any real details. Like, if so many students ate this stuff, how did no one in charge witness the server? Quick question here. So obviously this distribution was wide, 28 students or so. Clearly a member of the staff might have seen somebody passing this stuff around. This code of conduct spells out rules for students, which is good. Have you talked to teachers about whether there needs to be a, a new code of conduct about supervising a kid passing around candy to 28 students? This wasn't just a couple of people. Sure, great point. Um, the Sandtown Middle School Student Code of Conduct, which is also a handbook, clearly states that they're not supposed to pass around uh, baked goods. Um, it doesn't necessarily say edibles, right? Um, so when we think about edibles and the national crisis that we have, uh, we're really thinking about a three-pronged education, right? We're talking about discipline, we're talking about policies. And looking at those three pieces together creates more of a complete answer. Um, but let's just be really clear. We're drug-free. But were the teachers properly supervising this distribution? I, I think that as we go through the investigation, as we get statements, um, we'll be able to comment on that further. So, no real answer. Let's try again. Clearly you guys know who started distributing these things. I think parents need to know and deserve to know whether or not this was a kid that was just playing a prank bringing these in mm -hmm. or if somebody's parents made these and potentially put all these children's safety at risk. That question needs to be answered. Yes, absolutely right. And it will be answered at the appropriate time. But one, one, one of the things that we can, we can emphatically say, there are no students at dan in danger at this particular point. None whatsoever. Now, leaders did stress that this is now a criminal investigation. That may be why we're not getting many answers here. The only answers we did get today was from GBI confirming that pot was in that first of uh, many samples that they are testing. We still don't know who's responsible, if they've been spoken to, and how this will be prevented in the future. But we'll keep pressing them for those answers. We're live in Atlanta. I'm Jonathan Carlson, the CBS 46 Bulldog. Back to you. Keep pressing, John.